the next film that we, I just me saw was Lockout. Lockout is, it's kind of hard to. Please well, tell me it's good. I, let me. All right, you guys know who Guy Pierce is, right? He was in Memento mm-hmm. years ago. Well, he still looks the exact same. So apparently, he's <laughs> stuck in a time vacuum. <laughs> but he plays Snow, and I don't mean that old '80s rapper. I mean Snow. He's a. Uh, you mean he's, he's in Game of Thrones? Oh God! John, John he Snow? has. <laughs> He has, you just have to mention that fucking show. (laughs) He has one name, only one name. His name is Snow. What's my first name? Snow. Last name, Snow. This comes up a couple times. But he's basically a falsely convicted government agent who gets one last shot at freedom if he agrees to go rescue the president's daughter, Emily Warnock, who's played by Maggie Grace. And she's been taken hostage above a maximum security prison in space. First things first, Maggie Grace, that chick gets taken a lot. I was just going to say that. (laughs) Every movie she's in, apparently, she gets taken. She gets kidnapped at some point. Lock her in a cage so she can't be taken no more. <laughs> Does Guy Pierce say anything about it? He has a specific set of skills. <laughs> he doesn't. No. Um, this, is, this movie is a complete B-movie throwback to Escape from New York. If you are a fan from Escape from New York, you will like this movie. And it all it basically steals the entire plot from Escape from L.A., <laughs> what little plot there was. I mean, President's daughter gets kidnapped. One man who doesn't want to gets sent in to save him, save her. Guy Pierce basically plays Snake Plissken, or the same kind of character, but he he makes the character his own. Justin, you love this, you love that series, right? Which one? Escape from New York, Escape from L.A. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It if you like those movies, you will like this movie. It's very much a a total B movie throwback. Low I'll budget. Have to go see this. Oh, you got to see it. It's low budget, but it does wonders with what the the film has to work with. It actually looks pretty decent. It, the trailers don't look good. But the movie itself actually looks pretty good for the most part. The only problem I had with the whole movie, because I thought actually the action was really good, I thought Guy Pierce kicked ass and he's ripped in this movie. But he does a great, you know, anti-hero. I wish they'd give him another another shot at something like this. Um, the ending feels a little rushed, and because it doesn't end quite as dramatically as I hope. But o- overall, I mean, it, it does it the best it can. It's an entertaining throwback. Not high quality. It's not a summer blockbuster. It's not a critical darling. You know, you're not going to see a bunch of critics raving about it. But it's just enough clever beats and action scenes, plus a really good action hero turn by Guy Pierce to make it like a fun, recommendable flick. I really wish it would do better, so it could he could come back in a sequel and maybe get another shot at this. But go parent- save the president's son. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, out of ten, I'd give it seven. 